Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem it is said that calculate the magnitude of the force acting on the pin at D. Right, so we have to find the total reaction at this pin joint D. And further it is said that pin C is fixed in DE and bears against the smooth slot in the triangular plate, right? While solving such pro uh, problems, what we do is that we consider the individual members of a given frame independently from each other, right? So, for that, first what I will do is that I will consider this ABC, this triangular part of this frame, right? So, we will consider this free body diagram, right? So, now as we can see that if here we have 100 Newton force applied in this direction, right? So, what will happen is that this ABC, this triangular portion, this triangular member of this whole frame will apply the force on this ED member in the in this direction, right? Let me draw it, right? So, we will have a force which will be perpendicular to this pin C, right? And this force will be perpendicular to this line, right? And let's say that this is C force, right? So, as a reaction, this ED member will apply the opposite force on this ABC, right? So, since we are considering this triangular member, this ABC member of that frame, so this ED member will apply the force on this ABC triangular uh, member, right? In this direction, right? So, we will have a force which will be acting in this direction, right? So, let's say that this is that force C which is equal in magnitude to this force but in opposite in direction right so let's say that this is the point c right and here at this pin joint a we will have uh, reaction forces right so let's say that this is a x and this is a y right if this is our positive x and positive y direction right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0 and the counterclockwise moment is positive, right? So, now as we can see that this 100 Newton force is producing the clockwise moment about this point A. So, I will write 100 and the perpendicular distance of this 100 Newton force from that point A is 140 mm, right? So, I will multiply this with 140 and it is producing the clockwise moment. So, we will write minus and this C force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So, I will write plus C and the perpendicular distance of this C force from that point A is this AC length, right? Since this, uh, if I join this point A with point C, so this C force is perpendicular with this AC line, right? So, this is the perpendicular distance of this C force from that point A, right? So, I will multiply this with the AC length. So, what we need to do is that we need to find this AC length, right? So, we can draw a triangle here, right? So, if, so if I draw a triangle, right? So, we have this triangle and we know this length, this is 120 mm and we know this 160 mm length, right? So, this is the hypotenuse of this triangle, right? So, we can write that A C square is equal to, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So, this is equal to 120 square plus 160 square and we can take the square root. So, we will have this A C. This is 120 square plus 160 square. So, this is 200, right? So, this A C length is 200 mm. Right, so we will multiply this C with 200, right? So this AC length is 200 and this will be equal to 0, right? So from this we can write that C is equal to 100 into 140 divided by 200. 100 into 140 divided by 200. So, this C force is equal to 70 Newton, right? So, we can write that this is equal to 70 Newton, right? Now, to find the forces at this pin joint, right? So, what we will do is that we will consider this ED member, right? So, let's say that if we consider this ED member, so then we have to isolate it. We have to consider the free body diagram of only that ED member, right? 
so let's say that we have this free body diagram right so this is the force applied by the triangular part right so we will have uh, this dx force right let's say this is dx and then we will have let's say dy force which is acting vertically upward right and similarly at this roller support uh, this surface will apply the force and this ed member in this direction right so let's say that this is that e force so now if i apply the summation of moment about point e equals to zero if we consider that uh, member ed free body diagram right so then as we can see that this dy is passing to that point e so it will not produce the moment about that point e so only this dx is producing the moment about that point e right so we can write that dx and the perpendicular distance of this dx from that point e is how much so this is 120 plus 80 so this is 200 so we will multiply this with 200 and this dx is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point e so we will write plus and similarly to find the moment of this c force what we need to do is that we need to apply the varignan's theorem so for that we need to resolve this c force into its components right so we will have one component like this this will be cx and we will have one another component this will be cy right so again this cy is passing through the line of action of this cy is passing through that point e so it is not going to produce the moment about that point e so only this cx is producing the moment about that point e and it is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point e so i will write plus cx and the perpendicular distance of this cx from that point e is 80 mm so i will multiply this with 80 and this is equal to 0 right and since we know that c magnitude is 70 right so if we know this angle let's say this angle is theta then cx is c cos of theta right so if i draw a horizontal line here right like this so as we can see that this c force is perpendicular to this ac line this hypotenuse of this triangle and this line is perpendicular to this line right so this means that the c is making if this angle is theta right if c is making theta with the horizontal right so then this angle is also theta right since this c is perpendicular with this line and this line is perpendicular with this line right so this theta and this theta are equal right so we can find this theta right by using this triangle so we can write that tan theta is equal to perpendicular so now this is perpendicular so we can write this is 160 and divided by base right so this is 120 so theta equals to 10 inverse 160 divided by 120 160 divided by 120 this is 53.13 right so we can write that this is 53.13 degrees right so we can find cx now c magnitude is 70 cause of 53.13 this is 70 cause of the answer right which is 53.13 so this is 42 right so e cx is 42 newtons right so in from this we can find dx so dx is equal to minus cx into 80 divided by 200 and cx is 42 so i will write 42 so from this we can find dx right so dx is 42 multiplied by 80 divided by 200 so this is 16.8 newtons and similarly if you want to find dy so we have to apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero considering that member ed so as we can see that this dy is acting in the positive y direction so i will write dy and this cy is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus cy and this is equal to zero so from this dy is equal to cy right and cy is the sine component right so if we consider this theta 
right? So then this cy is the sign component of this c, right? So we can write that dy is equal to c sine of theta. C magnitude is known, it is 70 and sine of 53.13 degrees, right? So we can find CY. 70 sine of 53.13. This is uh, approximately 56 newtons, right? So we can write that dy is 56 newtons. And if you want to find the total uh, reaction at this point D, the total support at that point D, so that will be equal to dx square plus dy square and we will take the square root so dx is 16.8 square plus 56 square So the total force at that pin joint D is 58.47 approximately, right? So we can write that 58.47 newtons, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.